Okay, dokie. So that is old as it looks. Would you just stop with your stupid little questions? I'm just here to loot everything. Well, Everything that can be turned into resources. How do I open said door? Oh. Very good. Okay. Not entirely sure how that fit in the lunchbox, but uh, it sure did. I don't know why I'm taking the hats. Where exactly am I going to end up? What? It couldn't be. Hi. Could you die, please? Boom. Headshot. Retrieve a random weapon. You know what? Do what you gotta do. Sharpshooter's gamma gun. Holy crap, I... Well, that... That's ridiculous looking. Can you not? Can you not? Come on. It's a new outfit that I don't have. So maybe that was a slight waste of bullets, but get some. Huh. Bang. Automatic Plasma rifle. Really? Hmm. I'm almost out of weight again. It's both good and bad, really. That looks like it should be accessible. But is it? Uh... Now it really looks like it should be accessible. But I don't see any way to actually access it. Hmm. What would be the point of filling out the inside if you can't access it?
Uh, do I have grenades equipped? Yes. Well, it's not accessible. Plain and simple. I have a new perk I can pick up. Whoa! Was not expecting that. Okay, what am I gonna spend this perk on? I could get rifleman. Actually, I think I need more science, to be honest. What level's the next rank? Oh, I could get it. I forget what I need the science for, but I need the science. Shh. Oh, hi, kitty. Master log, huh? Really? Yes. Okay. Wait, is this a 50 cal receiver or is it just 50 cal? Questions, questions. Chemistry station, huh? What are you doing, cat? What is the point of you being up here? No, seriously, what is the point of you being up here? Okay. So, I'm going to fast travel back to the castle while I still have the chance. Before I completely fill myself up on stuff, because I was working on it. I was definitely working on it. Yo, come over here. Hey, what? <laughs> oh. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. What do you need? Store all junk. Then. can do is then I can come over here oh god I just did something horrible okay never mind we're good so it just has a 50 cal receiver so basically, it's pointless to me. Fair enough. Hmm. Cannot be scrapped. Alright, that means it goes... I just took something. Okay. Let's see, light dog armor. Uh, those things are yours. Take those. Okay.
See. Oh wait, what? Damage eighty-eight. Oh. Oh, I see. I'm not even firing it at the best it can be. Anyhow. Time to unload some of this crap into here. Still, still considerably more weight. Why is this? Oh, that's not helping. That is definitely not helping. Uh, no, wrong station. Uh, and equip. Nice. Back up to two full sets of armor. Just make sure that I'm not walking around with stuff. Okay, uh, now what's weighing me down? Oh. Right. Buff out, carrot, corn, cram, dirty water, just, just all kinds of stuff, really. Holy crap, that's a lot of purified water. Hmm, okay. Nice. So I should be doing pretty well in the aluminum department now. I'm hoping. Uh, anyhow. 40 water, 12 food, 7 people? Wait, did I gain somebody else? I don't know, that doesn't help me. Alright, I never showed the, uh, the beds. Somebody sleeping in my bed. What a horrible person. So, beds. Can I actually assign you to something now? No. Uh, you're working on scavenge, the seven scavenging thing. You're working on food. There's always a guy sitting on the radio now, apparently. You're the guy that works on trading. So what? I have seven people and one of them just you know what you don't need to be up there to be honest uh where was i gonna put you i forget now hmm anyhow uh so I don't really need any of these. Wow. Do I want to put a weapon store in here? I kind of do. We'll do this one. It costs 500 caps. And the guy up here on the wall can come man the weapons store. Oops. Squeeze me. You, uh... You don't need to be up there anymore. We've got turrets. You don't need to be there. So you can go on the weapons stand. 
Nice. Okay. Wait until 6 a.m. Right? Well, not until 6 a.m. Wait for 6 hours till 9 a.m. You will get up and go do what you do. But, like, I'll show you. If I take all this stuff off, put it in here, I'm actually up three weight. Although I will admit this looks far better. Hmm. Well, everybody gets into position. Fine. Uh, I don't get it. I don't get it. be the case now that I think about it. How about now?
Okay. Cool. So now I've got power. Oh, not this again. Speaking of power, I should probably find somewhere to actually set up power in a more permanent manner. In fact, what do I have for power options? More specifically, generators. Uh-huh. I can't really afford to build any of these, to be honest. Hmm. Laser turret. Oh god. I think we're doing okay, in theory. So, this is open now. So it's just kind of... here? Ah, I enjoyed that, General. Now we can really start taking the fight to our enemies. Alright, I was gonna break all this stuff down. Okay. Apparently I can't just break all the stuff down. Yeah. Uh, I guess that'll have to do. Do I want to upgrade the receiver on this? Kind of do. Never built much myself. I kind of wish I could do that, but this is the best I can do. I don't like the sights either. Uh, you know. Could be excessive, but I'm gonna put that on. And so I've got this. I don't know if I can really do anything else to this. I'm pretty sure this is roughly at its best. Oh. Yeah, I don't know. I think that's basically just Dunsky. Uh, what about upgrading this bad boy? Oh, no, no, no. I don't have the rank of armor for that. Best I could do is this, and I could only do it a few times. Or. See, this is why I need science. Visor highlights living targets. Hmm. Tell you what. I will do this one. Might as well make sure all pieces are repaired. Alright. Okay. Good. Ugh. So, this at its absolute best, let's look at it torso-wise, because 
Model F is 380. And that's the best the Brotherhood has. But... This is at 320 at Mark 1. Wow. Really? Is this really that good? This helmet's currently at 220. Whereas this helmet is 280. I don't know if it really makes a huge difference, to be honest. You know what? Pull the recon sensors off of this one. And it'll... Bro what? Really? You're gonna make me build them? Really? Excuse me? Let me guess. It's because it's for... Yeah. It's because of what it's for. Well, that's disappointing. Yeah, I'm gonna hold out then. The Volt Boy light is hilarious, by the way. Ooh, headlamp bright. Just bright. So it says it's bright. Oh, and the fusion core that was in this when I found it, it's, uh, it's at 100% power. Nice. Oh yeah, that is bright. Crazy stuff. Uh, the old Enclave style of armor. I kinda wish the Enclave was still floating around. Cause it's just sort of one of those things that just doesn't go away. Although, apparently, in this case, they go away. Hmm. What about the leg? Increases carry weight capacity. Hmm. Okay, do this. How about right leg? Can I do the same thing on the right leg? Uh, maybe if I wasn't out of aluminum again. Reduces chance for addiction from drugs. Wow, there's a lot of things in here. Enables jet assisted boost while jumping. Deals energy damage to nearby allies. Activates stealth field when crouched. Wow. Reflects 50% of melee damage back on the attacker. Detects hits during combat and automatically uses stim pack when health is low. Taking damage recharges action points. Increases strength. Below 20% health speed increases 25%. Increase. Wow. Increase. Just. Just. Wow. So, uh. I can't do jetpack. That requires science 4 and armor 4. Okay. Science 4. Science 4. Blood cleanser is the only one I can even do, and, well, I don't really care. Okay. See, this is for uh, unarmed attacks. I'm not going to be doing unarmed attacks. I'm sorry, it's just not going to happen. Increases VAT's hit chance. No, 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 no. I really want the targeting HUD. Jack of all trades, aren't you? Yeah, just a little bit. I'm at the point now where I mostly just need to run around and salvage things. And a lot of these places don't have a story, 
You really only get the story when you pick up the quests. Speaking of quests, you know what? Let's go turn in that one to, uh, what's his face? Yeah, you know, what's his face? I have a power armor like that. I fitted all the raider gear into one of those power armors, so I have an on well, I say enclave, more of, I'm just going to go with enclave, brotherhood of steel, and a raider one. For some reason, for a second here, I thought I was at red rocket. You. Get up. I need to talk to you. I've got to hand it to you, General. You've really turned things around for the Minutemen. I never thought I'd see the day that the Minutemen had artillery support again. We should see about building them at all our settlements to expand our coverage. And Ronnie Shaw returns. She's something else, isn't she? What do you think of her? People like her. She comes across pretty hard ass. But she's one of the good ones. I'd heard stories about her from the old timers. But I didn't know she was still around. The fact that she's come back to the Minuteman means we must be doing something right. Hmm. Now, Fair before enough. I forget, I've got something else for you to look into. I've got something a bit different for you. Our scouts have found a promising spot for a new settlement. Really? Once you clear it out, set up a radio beacon to let settlers know about it. Before you know it, we'll have a thriving new farm instead of wasteland. We'll take back the Commonwealth, one piece at a time. <sighs> I know I'm... Is that all he's going to do? He's going to keep on making me do that over and over and over again. Where's the good grasshopper quest? Down here. Really? There is a huge mass of land here where I have not explored. Also, not a whole lot down through here. Oh uh, yeah, I wanted to keep exploring. When we left off, we were right about here, and then I got distracted. There's still a lot of emptiness on the map. And this is a very populated area, so this is going to be ridiculous. Hangman's Alley. Not the only person There's still here. a lot to awesome. explore. I just... And I'm still a I lot of tired. So you. You're not terribly helpful, man. Hey, what you got? Hancock. To think I ever doubted you. Be honest? Doubts? Hey! God dang it! Oh yeah? What kind of doubts? Are you kidding me? You look like you'd fallen out of the vault that day. I thought I'd see you picking your teeth out of the gutter by sunup. It's just real rare these days. Find someone who's not willing to take things the way they're handed to them. Too many good folks not willing to get their hands dirty. And too many assholes taking advantage of it. Look at what happened to Diamond City. Before McDonough took over, it was a half-decent place to live. A little stricter than I usually go for, but not terrible. I thought he and I had a pretty happy childhood. But then he decides he's gonna try and get elected with his anti-ghoul crusade. Mankind for McDonough. Before you know it. You got families with kids lining up to drag folks they call neighbor out of their homes and throw them to the ruins. Why the ghouls? Why did McDonough campaign against the ghouls? Because he thought he could win. There'd always been a pretty clear divide between the folks living in the stands and those down on the field. I'm not convinced they didn't do it just to improve their view. I remember storming into his office above the stands after the inauguration speech. He was just standing there. Staring out the window, watching as the city turned on the ghouls. He didn't even look at me. He just said, I did it, John. It's finally mine. Should have killed him right there, but I don't think it would have changed anything. Instead, I pleaded with him, begged him to call it off. He said he couldn't. He had nothing against the ghouls. He was just carrying out the will of the people. And he couldn't betray the voters. And then he smiled. That hideous fucking mile-long smile. He never smiled like that when we were kids. I didn't even recognize him. 
Didn't even recognize him? Wait, what do you mean, you didn't recognize him? I don't know. Just didn't seem like the guy I grew up with. When I'd first heard the rumors, he'd been swapped for a synth. Thinking back on that night, I thought it made a lot of sense. But now, I don't know. I don't think I buy it. I've seen him since then, and there's no way they copied him that perfectly. Even got his tight-ass walk. But at the time, I just needed to get the hell away from him. Him and that whole damn city. <clears throat> he murdered those ghouls. Him and that whole damn city. I still wasn't a ghoul at this point, so I didn't have to leave. But I couldn't bring myself to stay in that cesspool after that. I'd been sneaking off the good neighbor for years to get decent cams, so I knew the safe routes. I managed to track down a couple of the families, lead them there, but most couldn't get used to the good neighbor lifestyle. I brought them food for a couple of weeks, but after a while, they just disappeared. Folks in Diamond City signed their death warrants, and all the good people were willing to just sit by and watch. I felt like I was the only one who saw how screwed up things truly were. We couldn't just pretend things were fine. Still feel that way. Or, I did. Until I met you. I know I run my mouth, but having someone who sees the world for what it is, and is willing to do something about it, it's meant a lot to me. I feel damn lucky to have you as a friend. Hmm. Oh god, no I'm not flirting with a ghoul. You're not going soft on me, are you, Hancock? Hey, everyone's entitled to some softness. For me, it's pretty much everything below the eyebrows. <laughs> well, thanks for hearing me out. You probably weren't looking for a history lesson, were ya? You, you want to hit the road? Oh, I was gonna get rid of him, but he's just fun to chat up, hey, really. Just say a little something to liven up the day. Did you really just give me some jet? Your thoughts? Not a lot of folks would travel with a ghoul, even one with my kind of charisma. Your thoughts? If someone needs help, we help them. If someone needs hurting, we hurt them. It's not hard. <laughs> uh. Just wanted to check in. Make sure we're doing okay. Well, I figure you've got enough dirt on me at this point that I gotta stick around. So, yeah, I'm good. <laughs> oh, nothing. Yeah, sure. Uh. Companion? Like, as a companion. Not like as a follow me, you know, get in the way companion, but as somebody who follows you, has a personality, has a conversation with you. The companions in this game in general seem to be pretty good, but I really like Hancock. But as a Bethesda companion, he is fucking annoying. But then again, they'd all do the same thing. Every single one of them. It's just dog meat I could jump over. <sighs> I also feel like I should probably give him gear at some point, but I really don't want to. I almost wish I could tell him to get in power armor or just whatever. Yeah. Didn't I see you somewhere Carla. else? Carla. Hey there. Trading? Did you say something about directions to Diamond City earlier? Directions. Hmm. Figures. Just keep going until you see the skyline. Cross the river. You'll find the great green... Yeah, 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 I don't care. Carla. What else do you Back have to say? Again? Time to do business? We actually trade, huh? Sure. Let's take a look. Here's what I got. What do you got? Ammo? Uh... What I need... I have to buy it. I need the aluminum. Hmm... Might as well buy it too. Whatever, right? Dirty postman uniform. You know what? I don't have one. It's cheap. Whatever. That's how it works, right? Hmm. Well, I guess that'll have to do.
don't know where that's been. <laughs> I have the hat somewhere. Why are you working the water pump? Why, why do you just randomly idle and do the weirdest things sometimes? Huh? See? There he goes again! Uh, I think it's about time I go to bed, actually. So I'm gonna call this good. I feel like there's more than two volts. Well, technically three volts. Pretty sure there's a vault somewhere. But anyhow, I'm, there's this entire section of countryside here that I haven't explored. Maybe I'll just kind of next time I record, we'll just go down through here, uh, start here, go down like this, I guess, and then maybe this way, up around here, over there, or whatever. I just kind of want to go down this direction, actually. Explore all through here here and then maybe eventually like head back out into the glowing sea and then there's the entire lower section of the city here that's not at all cleared out and there might be some more stuff up around here a bunch of stuff in here that there's a lot of things I have not explored on this map thicket excavation I haven't even really technically checked out the excavations so hmm Whatever. But, uh, yeah. What's up? What? Show su supply lines? See, I don't understand how this works. I don't understand how supply lines work. But whatever. Huh. Oh god, they're loud. Hey. Or it's loud, I guess, technically. But, uh, yeah, I'm going to call this good, and I'll see you guys next time. Have a good day.